This is a short update video following today's news on the strategic financing by Armadale Capital. Uh, seemed to cause a bit of a confusion earlier in the market and uh, there were a few people uh, uh, intimating that this was some sort of death spiral uh, loan facility, which is not the case. Um, so I'm just going to cover quickly what was in the RNS and the outline of the actual uh, loan itself. Um, so basically it was a restructuring of an existing loan facility that was expiring and um, they raised 700,000 facility, uh, repaying an existing 150K uh, that was drawn down on the old loan facility. Um, so this leaves the company now with, uh, that left them with a 550 balance there, plus the 500,000 raise they've just done. So they'll have somewhere around about 1 million cash available to them now. Um, and uh, they they recently raised the 500,000 at 1.8 premium raise, 1.8 pence. Um, so yes, around about a million pounds. Obviously they might have spent some of that money since, but obviously the company in a very uh, good position after this news today. Um, some other things to note, conversion price to equity is actually at 3p. Um, so this is actually a premium to the prevailing share price. Um, it's equivalent of doing a 0 0.7 million equity raise at 3p if all the shares were to be converted. Um, upon maturity, uh, they can uh, loan note holders can convert a 10% discount to the prevailing share price on a VWAP basis uh, in November 2020. They can't do it any other time, it's, it's specified at maturity. So this is not a death spiral loan, um, it's a sensible way that it's being structured. Um, the, the key figure to look at is three pence per share. Um, so, uh, and, and the loan can actually be repaid um, within the term required, uh, if required by the company. Uh, so for example, should the company go on to re-rate and um, you know, with, with the news coming, such as the DFS, buying off takes mining license, uh, and looking at uh, ASX peers, you know, if the company was to see similar share price appreciation, hit somewhere around about 10 pence per share, 40 million market cap, for example, uh, repaying that 700,000 loan uh, would be far less dilutive if they were to do a small raise at that level. The company are now fully funded through to project financing. Uh, they were anyway, um, so this is just an, uh, you know rolling over the loan facility and they've actually managed to increase the facility which they haven't necessarily or don't need to necessarily draw down on. So why is this a good deal for shareholders? Well, it's far less dilutive. Um, at 3p than if they were to have raised the additional £700,000 at 1.8 pence. Um, so uh, that, that's actually a good move by the company because the share price has appreciated since the 1.8p raise and um, now they've managed to potentially um, you know, have that money at a, a, higher, a higher price, uh, 3 pence. And um, the good thing also is, is that uh, having not done a larger raise at 1.8 pence, there's less overhang on the market um, which could have put the brakes on the share price at around about two and a half pence if people want to take profit there. So again, uh, another good thing is that, you know, it's, it's not actual equity, um, it's potential equity, but at a higher price. Um, the conversion price I just said is now three pence instead of two P, so that's actually a 50% increase uh, over the old loan note terms. And um, if you look at the previous CLN, uh, there wasn't actually converted anyway. Um, and obviously that's now been paid off and a lot of the existing CLN holders have carried forward into the new loan. And I can't see why they would necessarily convert either unless they were looking, unless the share price was somewhere north of say four or five P because obviously it's risk to them to convert at the conversion price. It's the same as exercise and warrants. The loan facility is now unsecured. The most important piece of news to, in today's RNS and, and obviously one of the reasons why the company have restructured the loan. Uh, there's now no security against the graphite project, which paves the way to project financing. You can't go to debt financiers and say, I'd like to raise, uh, you know, uh, uh, $35 million, uh, please, uh, if you've got your existing assets secured against other finance or other debt instruments. So um, it's a logical step to do, and it, and it probably signals to us that those um, conversations are happening now, as they've alluded to in, uh, in previous RNSs, so we could start getting news on project financing. So just to wrap up, really, it strengthens the company's financial position today, what they've done. I think it's a very well executed uh, and um, a, a good strategic way of, of, of raising the overall funds. Uh, the company are now in a very well funded position, right through to project financing. Don't see them having any need to go back to the market in equity raises, and quite clearly they don't want to as they've limited the size of those. And they've now rolled over this loan facility, which is actually now on better terms than the previous one in what's a difficult market to raise in. 
hope that's helped clarify the situation.